What's up, everybody? Exciting news today. I am going to be going over something that just dropped on the uh, on the Snap News, and that is series drops are back. Now, we don't have complete information. All they gave us was the list of cards that are dropping, but we did have a conversation with them in the creator chat, and they did allow us to share the information that these will be back more frequently than we've seen them. So, so for those of you who don't know what series drops are, let's kind of go over that very briefly. Series drops are a way that they move new cards from series five, which is the rarest, to easier to obtain series for newer players who maybe weren't here when the uh, season passes and stuff were out. So, for example, you know, after a card is in the season pass, like Miss Marvel was, she goes to series five. And then for a while, it was basically every month we would get a drop. And then after, you know, three months or whatever, Miss Marvel would go to series four. And then after a few more months, she would go to series three. And that was basically how it was working up until Spotlight Cash just came out. And then everything kind of got put on hold while they figured out the Spotlight Cash system, how they wanted to do series drops, what they were going to look like. And we haven't had one since. So that's been quite a long time. And Series 5 and Series 4 have gotten very bloated. A lot of cards in there that people need, that people want. So this is great news. We'll be getting our first series drop in a long time, right at the beginning of January. And that's just overall good for the game. Now, what they did allow us to sh uh, share when we talked to them was that this will be back more frequently, but it will not be every month by the sounds of it. They said it'll probably be something they do a few times a year, not necessarily, you know, every month like it was before Spotlight Caches, but it will be a bigger drop like this one was, or like this one is. And you're going to see in just a second is actually a ton of cards that are changing. Now, as we go through this, at the end, we're going to talk about a few different things, and I do kind of want to give my opinion on those. So before we get into what's actually dropping and what uh, what that means for you as a player, uh, if you enjoy my content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know down below what you think about the series drops coming back. Are they good? Are they bad? Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get into it without any further ado. First up, let's go over the Series 5 cards dropping to Series 4. We've got a ton of cards in this group. So you got Howard, Ghost Spider, Kitty Pride, Silver Samurai, Echo, Phoenix Force, Hitmonkey, Lady Deathstrike, and Dokken. So a ton of cards, a ton of the season pass cards from the past year dropping down. Now, you're going to notice a few things, and it was something that I noticed right away when they sent us the list, is that certain season pass cards drop, and certain season pass cards didn't, some of which came after the others. And it seems to be picked primarily on power level and play rate which I don't love, but I do understand the reasoning. You know, you want to keep the, the spotlight caches full of cards that are exciting. And if you drop too many of the series five and four cards to series three that people actually want, then it just becomes a game of them getting them out of, you know, the token shop or out of their caches and that sort of thing. And you, it gets less, less important for, for you to open those spotlight caches. So I think in a way it makes sense. I don't love it. I don't love feeling like they're gaining certain cards behind what um, but what the spotlight cash system is. But honestly, in a weird way, it's kind of better for them to stay in Series 5 and 4. Because right now, the Series 3 progression is not great. It's really hard to get Series 3 cards after a certain point because of the because of less collector's tokens and that sort of thing. So, I don't know. It, it, that's the one thing that we had asked that we haven't gotten an answer on yet. is When is Series 3 changing? Because Series 3 has kind of become... A bigger hold up for most people than series four and five because series four and five you can get from collect uh, from spotlight caches a lot easier whereas series three cards it can be very difficult to obtain because of the the slower progression rate after you get to a certain collection level and with how many cards there are in series three now and how many of them are important and integral to certain decks that said i still don't love it i would like to see this become a more standardized thing i don't think you should be gatekeeping the best cards behind spotlight caches but it is what it is. We are getting a drop. This is a huge one. So that is definitely still a win. Now, here are the series four to three cards. You got Master Mold, Spider-Man 2099, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, Stature, and Stagron. The big ones missing, pretty, pretty glaring, is Darkhawk, Null. These are cards that are pretty integral to the decks that they're played in. And they have been, I think Darkhawk's been in series four for almost a year now. And that was after taking forever. For them to drop him the the series four at all and yeah that's that's crazy i i don't know how i feel about that either 
again it feels like the same thing they want to keep those cards as things they can use in the seats the the spotlight caches to get people excited about that as opposed to you know dropping them down to series three where they'll be easier to obtain uh, again this is not my favorite thing about this it's, it's awesome to see we got what five cards here you look at this one we got three four five six seven nine cards here so it's 14 cards dropping to series four or series three that's a huge drop it's bigger than the drops they used to do for us so if we get this you know let's say every three months this that, this is going to be pretty good if we get it every four months uh, a little less good and so on and so forth but I don't think it'll get to be that long. I think it'll probably be a every three months or so thing from, from what I've seen and from the way they've talked. It seems like we'll probably get three or four of these a year and that'll be pretty good. Now, I don't have a lot else to add for this. I I would have loved to see more of the the meta cards, the, the bigger played cards drop. I do think that they need to think about uh, Spotlight Cash is keeping those exciting for people. So I do get it from a developer standpoint. I just don't love it from a player standpoint. I, I always try and balance because it's very easy to hate on second dinner and they get angry at them for things when they change things and when they they don't drop things and you know all this stuff makes it feel like they're they're trying to make it harder on the player. But you also understand that it is a business. It is a game that needs to make money. They need to be successful in that way. And I I do believe Spotlight Cash has overall made it harder for them to monetize uh, card progression, which is fine. They they've focused on cosmetics and that makes that makes sense. But I do think. Overall, I would have liked to see more of the actual played Series 5 cards drop. So let me know what you think down below. Drop me a comment. Let me know uh, if you're excited about this, if this is something that's going to help you with your progression, or if you're upset about some of the, the more played meta cards not getting dropped. And uh, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll, I'll catch you next time. That's really all I got for today. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas week. And uh, yeah, come hang out. We're going to be doing Twitch drops over on Twitch. Starting today, I believe it starts here in just a, probably about the time that you're loading this video up. I'm probably live so that you can get your drops in and get that free stuff. So uh, appreciate you being a part of the channel, being a part of my community, and uh, I'll catch you next time. See you later.